air fryer can do everything your oven can, but in half the amount of time and with double the crispiness. And today we're roasting up not one, not two, not three, but four different vegetables that all take less than 15 minutes to make. <gasps> hey there, I'm Lennon Brazil from Evolving Table. And whether you're just getting started using your air fryer or you're a seasoned pro, you absolutely need these quick recipes in your life. From roasted broccoli and cauliflower to asparagus and Brussels sprouts, you'll learn all of the tips and tricks to make sure you get the best and crispiest veggies in your air fryer. So if you're ready to get to cooking, then come on in and let's get started. No matter what type of air fryer you have, you'll be able to make these recipes by simply using the manual functions. It is better if you have a larger six quart model so you can fit the vegetables in with ease, but a smaller four quart model will work just as well. But one quick thing to note here, the more food you have in your air fryer basket, the longer it will take to cook and vice versa. So if you have a pretty full basket, use closer to the full cook time recommended. If your basket is not so full, start checking on your veggies sooner rather than later. And if you haven't bought an air fryer yet, try to look for one that has more of a square or rectangular basket. It makes it much easier to place things in a single layer. And now on to the recipes. First up, we've got this air fryer broccoli with Parmesan. Set air fryer to 370 degrees and let it heat up for at least three minutes. While it's preheating, cut one large head of broccoli into bite-sized florets. You should end up with roughly four to five cups. In a large bowl, add two tablespoons of olive or avocado oil, one clove of crushed garlic, half a teaspoon of salt, and one fourth teaspoon of black pepper. Whisk until well combined. Add chopped broccoli florets and stir until they are well coated in the sauce. Sprinkle in two tablespoons of Parmesan cheese and toss to coat. Add broccoli to the heated air fryer and cook for four to six minutes. Shake the basket halfway through cooking to ensure it all crisp up evenly. Serve broccoli with another tablespoon or two of Parmesan cheese and a little bit of freshly grated lemon zest. Next up, we've got broccoli's closest cousin with this air fryer cauliflower. Once again, Set the air fryer to 370 degrees and let it heat up for at least three minutes. While it's preheating, cut one medium to large head of cauliflower into bite-sized florets. You should end up with roughly four to five cups of florets. In a large bowl, add two tablespoons of olive or avocado oil, one fourth teaspoon of paprika, one fourth teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of salt, and one fourth teaspoon of black pepper. Whisk until well combined. Add chopped cauliflower florets and stir until they are well coated in the sauce. Add cauliflower to the heated air fryer and cook for 10 to 12 minutes. Shake the basket halfway through cooking to ensure it all crisp up evenly. Serve cauliflower with a sprinkle of additional paprika and chopped parsley. Next, we've got these air fryer Brussels sprouts that have a bit of a spicy Asian kick. And I know I'm starting to sound like a broken record, but go ahead and set your air fryer to 370 degrees and let it heat up for at least three minutes. This is my go-to temperature when I'm roasting vegetables in the air fryer. But if you wanna speed up your cook time by a minute or two, you can always increase the temperature to 380 or even 390 degrees. While preheating, trim the ends from one pound of Brussels sprouts and then cut them all in half. 
In a large bowl, add one tablespoon of olive or avocado oil, one clove of crushed garlic, half a teaspoon of salt, and one fourth teaspoon of black pepper. Whisk until well combined. Add cut and trimmed Brussels sprouts and stir until they are well coated in the sauce. Add Brussels sprouts to the heated air fryer and cook for 9 to 11 minutes. Shake the basket halfway through cooking to ensure they all crisp up evenly. While the sprouts are cooking, grab a small bowl and add 1 tablespoon of soy sauce, 1 tablespoon of honey, and half to 1 teaspoon of sriracha sauce. Whisk until smooth and well combined. Once the Brussels sprouts are fully cooked and crispy, serve them with a honey sriracha sauce and a sprinkle of red pepper flakes. And last but not least, probably my favorite recipe of them all because it gets it so super crispy, this air fryer asparagus. Make sure the air fryer is set to 370 degrees again. While it's preheating, trim or snap the woody ends from one pound of asparagus spears. The best way to do this is to locate where the green part meets the lighter white part and hold it between your hands. Apply slight pressure until the spear snaps in two. Repeat this with the remaining asparagus spears. In a large bowl, add one tablespoon of olive or avocado oil, one clove of crushed garlic, half a teaspoon of salt, and one fourth teaspoon of black pepper. Whisk until well combined. Add trimmed asparagus spears and stir until they are well coated in the sauce. Place asparagus into the heated air fryer in a single layer and cook for six to nine minutes. Smaller spears will cook closer to six minutes, while larger spears will take closer to nine. Shake the basket halfway through cooking to ensure they all crisp up evenly. Serve asparagus spears with a sprinkle of flaky sea salt and additional coarse ground black pepper. Oh man, I'm a little overwhelmed. These all look so good and so crispy. And I think I'm just gonna sit here and eat all of them. And instead of putting you through that, why don't you go ahead and check out these other easy air fryer recipes. Thanks so much for hanging out. I'll see you in the next one.